Welcome to the Impossible Channel. I'm James Lefer, and well, today we have a really intriguing video for you. But before I go on, I'm going to ask you guys to drop a like, subscribe to the channel with notifications. From a mysterious castle-like city that appeared in the sky to unknown and bizarre creatures, today you're in for a ride. Weird noise coming from right here where the school's at. I don't see nobody. You hear that? We're gonna be checking out mysterious things that will probably make your jaw drop. This is For instance, talk about glitches in the Matrix. A player jersey's number turns from 13 to 14 mid-game. In Ontario, Canada, the sky turns purple. And for some mysterious reason, in Nigeria, rain pours red. If you think you've seen it all, think again. There are places and things on this planet we couldn't even imagine in our dreams. From mysterious places that spark curiosity from all over the world, to huge and unknown creatures that have been spotted on camera. We're gonna be exploring some of these videos and a bit more, starting with Bernal Sir John Eric, who caught a very strange noise next to Cunningham Middle School at night. He says it was around 1 a.m. in the morning when he heard this strange sound. Right here where the school's at. I don't see nobody. You hear that? The video starts out with Sir John Eric going around the school to check out what it could be. When a mysterious sound, one that I believe is not coming from a human being, can be heard. What's most intriguing is that there is a black figure in the background, one that he says he did not see only until after he edited the video. Right there, somewhere right there where the light's on. As you can see, it's just next to a window and by its size, it is not a normal person or whatever that is. It looks as if it could be some sort of creature or a shadow person. I don't know what it is, but it was making an ugly noise. After a while, John keeps walking to see if he finds out more about the strange noises. Without reaching any logical conclusion, John uploads the video to Facebook and it goes viral almost instantly. Randonautica is an application that has been getting more and more attention as we speak. On them, holding them, and so I parked and got out, and he got shot. What is that? What the f Are those goats? A lot of people are trying out this app in which you think of something and it, well, supposedly happens. In this next video, Omar Gosh TV YouTube channel goes random nodding at night, and this is what happens. I'm not seeing anything. Oh. Out of the ordinary. Randonautica is giving Omar Gosh TV a busy night, and first he finds a suitcase in the middle of nowhere. He decides then to go to another location. We'll open it later. Hotel 6. We're behind like a store or something. When he reaches this other location, just behind a store, he realizes that things starts to get real creepy. What the hell is that? Oh, look, it's some rope too. Look, there's more. 
Be more hairy. He decides to go home when things starts to get creepier and creepier. I'm not too sure about this app. I've never used it before. What about you? Oh my god, what is this? I'm on the way to home, but it's very, very unique. Lately, there are many strange videos of lights in the sky surfacing all over. For instance, in 2018, posted by Bass Envy YouTube channel, a mysterious strobing light was seen in the horizon. What the f is that? It's like strobing. I have no idea what it is. A couple of years later, on March 2020, it was seen again and posted on Twitter. What's most astonishing about this is that recently a video went viral of a mysterious light, a similar light to the one in Houston, although this time in Peru. This mysterious event was captured by a couple of friends that were left baffled by it. Again. Captured by Sanjila Shrestha YouTube channel this year, a mysterious light can be seen in the sky. It's going up. I'm not too sure if this is a light pillar or not. A light pillar usually is caused by a source on the ground when there is enough ice crystals in the atmosphere. But I'm not too sure if this is the case. After watching Sanjila's video a couple of times, it's as if there's a beam of light behind the clouds that is being pulled towards the sky. I also noticed that the beam varies in shape and size. Tell me what you think. Is that normal? No, that's not normal. <laughs> Bro, what the f Wait. Oh. That is not moving. Man, video that thing, Max. I am, I got it. Are it's you videoing kinda, it? Yeah, hold on. It is just sitting there. Alan, baby, watch the roof. Another plane just sitting in the sky. Talk about strange things going on in the sky. I've never seen it do that. Oh, it's it's like a, it looks like a Lego piece. In like a it's just sitting in the water. Are you, are you kidding me? A plane standing still in midair is usually explainable because of wind current or the person driving in the opposite direction. However, a Fata Morgana is a complex form of superior mirage that is seen in a narrow band right above the horizon. Usually, the mirage that is seen in the sky is a reflection of the object in the horizon. Although in a video gone viral this week in China, we can see some sort of castle-like figure in the sky, which is very different from the objects in the horizon itself. Check this out. The video was captured in Shandong province in Jinan and, well, I find it very difficult to explain what exactly is going on here. It is a fact that there are many mysterious places on earth and many mysterious creatures that are yet to be discovered. For instance, in Sri Lanka, in a place known as Ravana's Palace in Sigeria, there is a structure known as Lion's Paws. What's most intriguing about this palace that was built in the 5th century are the lion's paws itself. Observed by some researchers and YouTubers, the paws actually look like as if they belong to a reptile other than a lion. And if you actually look at some statues of reptilians all over the world, it does have a similarity. However, if you compare it to a lion's paw, it doesn't. So whatever deity it was that they were worshipping may not actually be a lion. So this brings us a very interesting question. What creatures existed in the past that we actually don't know about? And are they still alive today? For instance, a mysterious creature was spotted in Brunei River in Asia. It looks as if it could be a genetic modification between two different animals. 
But to this day, it has never been explained what the creature could be. Leave a comment if you have any idea. It's videos like this that makes one wonder what kind of creatures do actually exist out there that we have no knowledge of. United Utilities YouTube channel is a channel dedicated to water pipes and constructions related to water. In other words, it's not a channel dedicated to mysterious and bizarre sightings. However, doing a regular checkup on a sewer, this is what they captured. It's too big to be a rat and too strange to be any known animal. There's a door over here. There's a door? Yeah. Oh god. The f this is so sus, bro. This door is like open. Talk about the unexplained. John Washi YouTube channel went to explore an abandoned school, which I don't think is a really good idea. Not because of ghosts or the paranormal, but because the structure itself wasn't very safe to walk on. There's, uh, up these stairs is an attic. Just look! Look at the floor. It's not gonna. We're not gonna be up there. Really. And a very dangerous move they climbed towards the attic, even after carefully analyzing that the floor may actually not hold their weight. And this is what happened. Come on. What? One of his friends approaches a strange door when it actually oh, no, opens no, no, by no, no, itself. No, 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 that door just f opened by itself. That door just f opened by itself. We actually rewind and observe the video. His friend never actually touched the door. So I can completely understand why Josh and his friends were scared and ran as fast as possible. What would you do in a similar situation? I've never seen anything like this. Well, no, neither have I. Hey, we gotta get out of here. When it's about paranormal events, there is usually a good explanation. Sometimes it's just the wind or a strange noise that can be explained. <laughs> However, in some cases, it's really difficult to grasp and understand what is really going on. I'm sitting here filming my daughter's doll because since we moved into this house and started the remodeling process, we've noticed a lot of strange things, especially with my daughter's toys. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, the chair is moving. Whoa. This is some freaky shit. Oh, I'm about to run. What the hell? In this video, for instance, a security guard was caught talking to someone that wasn't there on a CCTV camera. Mire, este es el labor, es de la isla. Resulta y sale que un día antes se murió que hacía aseo, era amiguísimo de él. Pero él no sabía que se había muerto del aseo. And this is the moment he realizes that he was talking to absolutely no one. Despite all the evidence, cases and stories that were told, there are still people who are skeptical about these events. And in relation to Abiyud Hernandez, it was something that I was skeptical too. I don't know if you remember, but a couple of videos ago, I posted about Abiyud Hernandez's house being haunted. Me voy a ir. ¿Qué necesitas? In the first videos he posted, it started out as a knock on the door, a knock on the window. In this video, for instance, I pointed out that the knocking on his window couldn't be easily faked due to the fact that it seems like he's on the fifth floor of a building or something like that. Abiud Hernandez's profile on Facebook started to quickly get a lot of views and attention after some of these episodes started to get creepier and creepier. Come on. 
But still, the knocking on the door, the knocking on the window, the objects moving inside of his house could be somewhat faked. And I have to admit it, at a certain point, I started to think it was just too much to be all real. Until this happened. Decidí grabar porque hace rato se escuchó un golpe muy fuerte en mi ventana y cuando salí pues me doy cuenta de esta situación. Not only once, but twice, Abud Hernandez started to tape bird activity just next to his apartment. And I have watched a couple of videos and I've heard stories that birds are actually sensitive to paranormal activity. I'm not too sure although how this can connect, but one thing I'm certain, this is something that Abiud Hernandez couldn't fake. So whatever is actually going on in his apartment, it could actually be the real thing. What would you do if you were in his place? This is it for now, but we do have more videos for you to check out. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, share if you think this is important, subscribe to the channel with notifications on. I do have a new channel, link is under the description, and I'll see you guys again.